Olama provides a simple method for running large language models on your computer privately and without needing an internet connection. It's free to use and can be a great alternative to ChatGPT. But why would you want to run your own local large language model? Well, there are several reasons. Running a large language model on your local machine provides you with complete control over the data and prevents the transmission of sensitive information to external servers. This is essential, particularly when handling confidential data like medical records, financial information or sensitive business data. Then there's the matter of cost. Paying up to $20 a month for something like GPT-4 might not suit everyone, especially when there are free open-source AI models available. These models offer amazing features without putting a dent in your wallet. Convenience is another significant factor. With local large language models, you have access to AI regardless of your internet connection. Whether you're on a flight, in a remote area, or dealing with a shaky Wi-Fi connection, your digital assistant is always at your service. Lastly, there's the advantage of using the model that suits your needs. For instance, ChatGPT operates on the GPT model, with version 3.5 for the free plan and version 4 for the paid plan. In contrast, Olama provides a wide range of models ready for download straight out of the box. You have the flexibility to choose any model you prefer without being limited to just one. But before we proceed with installing Olama, let's discuss the necessary hardware specifications first. Olama is compatible with macOS running on Apple Silicon or Linux distributions like Debian and Ubuntu or Microsoft Windows. For the best performance on Linux and Windows systems, it is recommended to have a modern GPU such as NVIDIA or AMD. For Mac users, M1, M2 or M3 chips are optimal. Please keep in mind that each model may have GPU requirements beyond these basic specifications. We will cover those details in a moment. Now, Let's move on and install Olama. The installation is really simple. Head over to Olama's official website and select Download for your specific operating system. The download and installation process is pretty much what you'd expect, similar to installing any software from the web and consistent across different operating systems. As a Mac user, I will walk you through the installation process on a Mac. Once you've downloaded the installer, go ahead and open it by double-clicking. A warning may appear about opening files from the Internet. Grant permission for the process to continue. Next, the installer invites you to move the app into your Applications folder. So, let's do that. After this step, you'll encounter a welcoming screen. Press Next, and now it's time for the command line tool installation. You'll need to provide your admin login info here, which typically means entering your Mac username and password. Hit Finish once done, and don't forget to delete the installer from your Downloads folder. You'll then notice a new icon appearing in your Mac's menu bar, signaling that Olama is ready to go. Olama operates using a command line setup, which might seem a bit odd if you're not used to it, but trust me, once you get the hang of it, it's pretty simple to use. If you're on a Mac, you'll find it in an app called Terminal. To open Terminal on your Mac using Spotlight, here's what you do. Just hit Command and Spacebar at the same time to bring up Spotlight Search. Then, type Terminal into the search bar. As you start typing, Spotlight will quickly locate the Terminal app for you. Once it shows up in the search results, just hit Enter and there you go. Terminal opens up, ready for your commands. Now, let's start with the basics. Type in the Olama command and hit Enter to see all the commands it understands. For example, typing Olama list will show you all the models already downloaded into Olama. 
However, since Olama is freshly installed, this list is currently empty. We'll dive into more commands in a bit, but remember, when you're working with Olama, always kick things off with the command Olama. And if you ever get lost, just type Olama and hit enter to see what commands are available. Despite its name, Olama isn't just about Meta's Llama models. On the Olama website, you'll find support for various models, such as Google's Gemma, the super popular Mistral, and other cool ones like the uncensored version of Llama 2 or Lava, which can handle images and other media. Each model has its own page on the site, telling you what it's good at, how big its file is, and what kind of hardware you need. For example, Llama 2 breaks down the GPU requirements for different versions. Most models offer more than one version. For instance, Llama 2 comes in 7B, 70B and 13B flavors, indicating how many parameters are packed into the model. Those parameters are like the inner workings that help the model make sense of the data it's fed. So how do you choose which model or version to go with? Basically, more parameters usually mean a more powerful model, but they also need more GPU resources. As a rough guide, you'll want at least 8 GB of RAM for 7B models, 16 GB for 13B models, and 32 GB for 33B models. And don't forget, every model you download takes up space on your machine, and you can see how much space each version needs right there in the drop-down menu. Once you've picked the version you want, you'll see the command you need to run in your terminal. And that command changes depending on which version you go for. For example, I'm gonna grab the latest version, the 7B Llama 2.1. Then I can just copy that command, paste it into my terminal and hit enter. That command's gonna get the Llama 2 model from Olama and set it up on my PC. You'll only need to download it once and it'll take a bit, depending on your internet speed. After installation, you'll be able to communicate with your model. Let's start with something simple, like saying hello. Even though I'm only on an 8 GB MacBook Air M2, Llama 2 responds pretty quickly. Let's follow up with another request asking Lama2 to tell us a joke and then explain why it's funny. The joke is, why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. That's an okay answer, I guess. But regardless, uh, the AI did as I asked and even explained the joke to me. Let's experiment with something different. I'll request the AI to propose a five-day itinerary for a trip to Chicago, ensuring that I can catch a flight on the fifth day. Llama 2 takes a little longer to respond to this query, but it does an excellent job of presenting me with a plan, including recommendations for particular restaurants. If you ever need help during your chat with the model, simply use the command slash question mark and it will provide you with a menu of available commands, all starting with a slash. Otherwise, it will interpret everything you give it as a prompt. Anyway, to end your interaction with Llama 2, you can use the command slash by, which will exit the interaction mode with the model. If we now try the command Olama list again, you'll see that it shows the Llama 2 model is downloaded and you can run it again using the same command olama run llama 2 thank you so much for watching and i hope you'll join me soon in my next video